everyone out there. It's uh, Jermaine West again back with you with the simple truth. This is the first simple truth of the new year. Everyone out there today is beginning to look at what they did in the past year and beginning to make certain New Year's, as they call them, New Year's resolutions. Well, I have a, a question for you. What are you going to do this year that you're going to remain committed to so that this time next year you won't look back and see what you didn't do? You notice I didn't say what you did do, but I made it a point of what you didn't do. This is the time of year when people begin to make plans of weight loss. Uh, they make plans of uh, what they're going to do differently financially for the, for the upcoming year. But the one thing that they do not take as strong of inventory of is their spiritual well-being. I suggest that anyone out there look, listening to this video, that you make whatever plans you make, but make them with your spirit first, with your spirit in mind, that is. I, I say, let your spiritual well-being be more important than your physical well-being or your financial well-being. Because understand this, when it comes to the financial well-being, you really and truly do not have exact control over that. What do I mean by exact control? Well, if you're out there and you're working some sort of job, or even if you have a business, you are dependent upon what others do for you to have the financial success that you're looking to have. Now, when it comes to your physical well-being or your physical goals now there you have a little bit more control you have the ability to be able to change your eating habits go on some sort of diet but generally not too long after the first of the year sometimes a month to two months maybe even 90 days after the first of the year you find yourself falling off the wagon and losing focus but the one thing that you have total control over is your spiritual well-being and your spiritual goals. What are you doing to get yourself spiritually close to the Most High? Are you following God's laws, His commandments and His statutes? Are you doing the best you can to treat your neighbor as you would want to be treated yourself? Are you taking out the time for prayer? See, these things are looked at, and pretty much that's all they are. They're looked at. You might set a goal of doing something better as far as your spiritual well-being is concerned. You might set your, say you're going to spend some more time reading the Bible. You're going to pray more, but do you actually do it? I suggest that as you move forward to this new year, that you make sure that the main and important thing that is on your to-do list, the first thing on your to-do list, is to strengthen your spiritual relationship with the Most High. And then, as the scripture says, all other things will be added unto you. If you seek Him first, all other things will be added unto you. It is my prayer for you that you do not set your spiritual goals and then leave them by the wayside in a very short amount of time as the year begins to progress. Because your spiritual well-being is quite important. And remember, sometimes the simple things are the most profound, but they are also the most difficult to accept.